How to Delete a Jenkins Job. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.3. And on this controller, I have a couple of jobs already created. Now to delete a job, it's actually just as simple as going into the job and clicking on Delete Pipeline. When you click on Delete Pipeline, if it is a pipeline job, you'll get Delete the Pipeline Test Pipeline, and you would click on OK. But instead of using the UI to delete the job, let's go over to the CLI and delete the job. So I'm going to click on Cancel, and we're going to open up a command prompt. For the CLI, I've already downloaded the Jenkins CLI jar. If you've not done that before, if you go back to Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, and then scroll to the bottom, you'll see Jenkins CLI. And from there, you can download the Jenkins CLI jar right from this link. The other thing that I'm going to do is set up a couple of environment variables to make working with the CLI a lot easier. So let's go back over into our shell and let's set up our first environment variable. The first one that I'm going to do is Jenkins user ID and set it to admin. Right now I'm logged in as admin, so that's what I'll use there. Secondly, I'm going to set Jenkins API token. And this API token is associated with this admin user and it was created by going under admin, configure, and creating an API token right here. The value that we have in our command prompt here is the value that is living underneath this alpha setting that's already here. So we'll go ahead and hit enter there. And finally, I'm going to export Jenkins underscore URL and set it to the URL for my Jenkins server. In this case, it's HTTP colon slash slash Jenkins colon 8080. Now, before we actually run the command to delete the job using the CLI, let's go take a look at what the command is. So we'll click on Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to CLI and we'll look for Delete Job. And with Delete Job, we can see that all we're going to be doing is passing in the name of the job. Or if I wanted to delete multiple jobs, I could put a space separated list of the jobs that I want to delete. So let's go back over to our command prompt. Let's say Java dash jar Jenkins CLI dot jar delete job. And the name of our job is, we'll verify it again, test-pipeline. Now, the other way we can check this is by just taking a look at the name here as well, test-pipeline. Go back over to the shell, type in test-pipeline, hit enter. We don't see a response from the command line, but if we go back over into our console, what we'll see here is test-pipeline is now gone. Now, you'll also notice that we have a folder here named alpha, and within alpha, we have another test-pipeline existing within the folder. Now, there is one catch when you delete a folder within a Jenkins controller. And that is when you delete the folder, all of the contents of that folder will also be deleted. So you've got to be really careful when you delete a folder. So in this case, let's go back up to alpha and I can click on delete folder here. The other way I could do it is if I click beside the alpha, I can also click on delete folder here. Let's do that. Delete the folder alpha, yes. And now taking a look at the dashboard of the Jenkins controller, we can see that the alpha folder has been deleted. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.